All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and the glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us, younger brothers. And peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful leg out there pushing his word and truth. And it's a series across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners. Whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shema Shah. What I want to go into, all right, this evening, you know, is dealing with how, all right, keeping our eyes single, you know, and we're going to go into the spirit, you know, because we in the times now where as believers, you know, we really have to be more and more all about salvation, all about seeing righteousness rule the earth, all about. You know, being selfless, you know, being ready to distribute, you know, to the brethren all with the mindset of salvation. You know, at the end of the day, we should be glued and linked into, all right, locked into the salvation, man, and doing the things required for salvation, man. Doing the things that keeps us in the spirit, doing the things that keeps us obedient, you know. So, as you go into the book of Luke chapter 11. All right, verse 34, and this is Yahweh Shah speaking. It says, the light of the body is the eye. All right? Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy whole body is full of light. But when thy eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. And when you go into, all right, this word single. All right? Let's just start off with that one. <laughs> okay? So you go into the word single. Strong G five seventy three. A plus. A plus. A plus. Okay, and it says simple. You know, it's another thing. Like really, you know, our life should be coming more and more simplified. You know, as we get closer to the end, because we in the time we're gonna have to let things go, man. <laughs> okay, and we should be in the mind. We should be. You know, in the spirit now of keeping things as simple as possible, man. Not to be overwhelmed too much in anything, man, outside of this ministry, man. Okay? And it says, definition three, it says, Good fulfilling its office sound. And the more we tap into fulfilling our office, the more, all right, we become laser focused on this, man. The more, all right, our life you know, it just just becomes a, a, a walking example of you have a shot. The more we fulfill our office within the lot, you know, the more, all right, wisdom and understanding flows from us, man. The more peace we have in the spirit, the more joy we have in prophecies being fulfilled. You know, the more we tap into, you know, fulfilling our office. So you have a shot is pretty much is saying, look. Put a, put a lot of emphasis on fulfilling your office in the spirit and let everything else kind of play itself out, man. You know, of course, you know, you handle your responsibilities, you know, as a man, as an adult, okay? You handle your responsibilities, man, all right? But the emphasis should be on filling our offices in the spirit, okay? And that keeps us sound, man, all right? And when you keep going, verse 35, it says, Take heed, therefore... That the light which is in thee be not darkness. And it said the light of the body is the eye. You know, pretty much what you see. Because when you look at this society, you look at people imitating what they see. The modern women, all right, she's imitating what she's seen on Atlanta Housewives, on the music videos, on the Mud Deal plays. Okay? It's pretty much life is an imitation of Esau's Hollywood, man. Okay, the things that they'll see. Nigga culture is an imitation of movies, okay, and rap videos and rap music. So what you see and what you hear is pretty much what you're constantly feeding your spirit. Just as we are aware where we physically, you know, feed our body, we have to be spiritually aware where we feed our mind, man, what we're constantly watching, constantly hearing, man. You know, if you listen to that trap nigga, you know, that trap nigga music all week man hey you gonna start to move in that in that way you know there's a lot of women 
they, they, they are still they, they say they believe but still have a feminist mindset because they still are intaking and digesting feminist you know ideology man okay so what we intake what we see and what we hear and allow in our spirit that they, they can turn you into darkness man okay so we have to be mindful and have a limit on everything that's outside this ministry man we have to have a limit on it man you know so let's go from here and it says hmm. verse 36 it said if if thy whole body therefore be full of light okay what fulfilling our office man you know when we're more in tune with spiritual things you know it it, it feels our whole being with light man with their way of righteousness okay and it says having no part dark the whole shall be full of light as when the bright shining of a candle doth give thee light and we want to be shining our brightest you know in the time of salvation man okay in the time where the lord is going to have mercy on his elect we want to be shining the brightest man okay really on point in the spirit okay <laughs> these are the times that we in and that's why you go here to the book of um first corinthians 15 and 33 it says be not deceived evil communications corrupt good manners evil communications all right corrupt good manners okay and that's why I said we have to be mindful of what we're around, who we're around, okay? Because it can ha it can begin to have a negative influence on us, man. Okay. One thing about Satan, Satan plays for the long game, man. He'll try to wear you out, man. You know, he'll try, you know, try to get you to think that you good and you okay doing something, man. But it's really wearing on you, man. And over time, okay, it can cause a falling away or a slipping, man. Okay, and <laughs> to what we got to shape back into it, man. I'm speaking, you know, from experience. <laughs> okay, Satan have you thinking something is okay, but then you keep doing it and doing it, and then eventually you find yourself dry in the spirit, man. You know, when you read 1 Corinthians 15, 33, it says, Don't be fooled by those who say such things, for bad company corrupts good character. Okay, <laughs> bad company corrupts good character. And remember, Apostle Paul was writing this to the Church of Corinth, man. Which you know, hey, this was a a carnal atmosphere within this church, man. Okay, so you know, Jake came from all different backgrounds and walks of life, heavy into idolatry, heavy into partying, and all these different things. And Apostle Paul was, you know, trying to tell him like. You know, you got to be mindful of what you're around because it can affect, it can, it can, you know, corrupt your good character. You know, hanging around niggas all the time, they will corrupt your character, man. <laughs> you know, hanging around rebellious, you know, women, you know, you they will corrupt, you know, good character, man. Because we here to edify and to build up in the spirit. This world, this society is, is set up to tear down righteousness, man, to be against righteousness, man. You know, and that's why I end it here. The scriptures say this, matter of fact. Um, yeah, probably get two more. All right, this is the book of um, Sirach 27. Hold on, <laughs> all right. It's Sirach 27, okay, and 12. It says, if thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time. And the indiscreet are those that don't operate in this wisdom. Those that in the world that still operate off the flesh, off of lust, okay, off of ignorance, okay, the indiscreet, all right? They don't have the discretion that comes from this wisdom, man, of discernment and making judgments. So when we're around the indiscreet, observe the time, man. Like we can't just get too comfortable kicking it around, all right, 
these people out here that are pretty much going off of lust, man. All right? Each brother is different, man. You know, each brother maneuver different. And, you know, you have your people that you be around sometime, man. You know, but, but overall, you should always have a mindset of observing, you know, and, and, and pretty much monitoring that time that you are around the indiscreet, man. Okay? It says, thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time, but be continually among men of understanding because iron sharpened iron, man. You know? So being around brothers, especially in this time, all right, where you can bounce spiritual ideas off each other, you can, you know, uh, have these spiritual conversations, man. You know? Then you can't, because you can't do this with anyone else in the world, man, outside of the brothers, man. You can only really talk and open up in particular ways amongst the brothers, <laughs> you know? So being around men of understanding, you really can express, you know, your spirit. They can express their spirit, they spirit and it's a building, you know? And it's a beautiful thing, <laughs> yeah, right? Now, let's go here. Because you go to Enoch, all right, which when you go into his name in the Hebrew is Hanak, all right, which uh, goes to dedication, okay, because he he was noted, all right, to be dedicated to Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. Now, this is speaking of Enoch. This is Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 11. It says, I'll start at 10. It says, he pleased the Most High and was beloved of him. So that living among sinner, he was translated. All right. And we want to be translated. You know, Enoch was called into a chariot. Okay. His dedication to the most high. All right. Caused him to be what? Called into a chariot. All right. From amongst a very sinful and wicked society, man. Okay. Which we're in this same situation today. It said, yes, yeah, speedily he was taken away. Least that wickedness should alter his understanding or deceit beguile his soul. Okay, and this society is just getting worse and worse and worse to this to a point that hey the Lord just gonna have to get us out of here, man. Okay? Because he said he translated Enoch before he was tempered about the things that was happening in the earth, man. Because he saw once a society was well, just freaked out, bugged out, perved out, okay violence he wants you know people just don't you see people dumb as hell okay but he just want a completely wicked no standard society man <laughs> okay to the point that we're not even gonna be able to dwell here man <laughs> unless it corrupt us so the lord is gonna translate his elect man those who have become dedicated man fulfilling their office in righteousness man okay and it says he being made perfect in a short time, fulfilled a long time, for his soul pleased the Lord. Therefore, hasty he to take him away from the wicked. Okay? And we want our soul to be pleasing to the Lord. But it comes from what, man? That obedience and being tapped in, man. You know, fulfilling our office, man. Being occupied in our lot, man. You know? That's a pleasing thing unto Yahweh by Shema al -Shai. All right? And we want to be delivered from this wicked society, man, you know, so we in the mindset now, hey, keeping our eyes single, man, keeping things simple, <laughs> you know, hey, removing hindrance out the way, man, and, and just being more about the father's business, man, being more about Yahweh Shai's business in these last days, you know, so Lord will, all right, you brothers, and you few sources of edify to the next time I say shalom, quorum yashallah, Bible, Bible, DTA soon, shalom.